So let's look at a file that is ready to be imported into EVE and we'll be bringing in stock item information. What you see here is an Excel file and this Excel file is the Paddy EMEA 2013 price list for five star and above centers. And as per previous videos on how to construct an import template, it is ready to be imported with data in every one of these four mandatory columns as well as a lot of cost price data, tax ban data, whether we want to maintain stock levels, etc. So once we have a file ready such as this, we can save this file anywhere we wish, though there is a default in EVE which I'll point out to you, and then we return to EVE and the thing to do before any import just in case is to do a backup of your EVE database and we can do that by going up to the EVE globe, the ISIS options, top right the screen with an EVE and selecting backup now which will then back up your EVE database to the default location you've set. Once you've done that backup if we then go from the top menu in EVE to file and import, import from Excel, as this is a stock items import, we will highlight stock items and hit import. We can then navigate to wherever we have saved the file or as you'll see here Eve will have opened the default of C program files integrated scuba systems Eve and import. Now this file has been specially created to actually ask us some of the questions that you are often asked during an import about stock types, tax bans, etc. So let's open that file and the first of these questions that were asked here is that Eve has found a stock type on the import file that isn't currently within our Eve database. You'll see here Eve says I have found logbooks. Now the reason for this mechanism is so that we can, depending upon how any particular supplier or manufacturer has spelt a stock type, go down and say, aha, well in this case we use in our database log space books. So I'm going to highlight that and by now selecting use selected value, prompt Eve that every time he finds this log books with no space, in the import file, Eve will import that stock item under the stock type of log space books within Eve. The next thing that Eve will discover is if something is a duplicate, and that duplicate could be based on stock number or barcode number or item description. And here, although I already have this item in, I do want to overwrite because this will bring in a new price, the updated price for this item. So you can use these import templates not just for initial setup of EVE but to update information. So I'm going to say here yes overwrite. For more details on what will happen when you overwrite by all means click that question mark and you'll see here that there are two types of icon you can set. If you leave it as a tick, the existing value will be retained if the import column has no value. For the cut, the scissors, the existing value will be removed if the import column has no value. Other than that, this will overwrite with information such as a change of price. Now I could do this every time that he finds that same stock item by selecting this box down here. Then when I hit apply and continue with the process, Eve again now has found another stock type such as advertising materials and I am going to say this one I want to use, advertising merchandise. So I've mentioned we're really doing this so that you can see all the kinds of questions that Eve will, will prompt you with. Another option, for example, is when a duplicate is found is to add that as a new item. 
You see here I've selected that and hit apply. Another option is to ignore the import item and move on, which I could do and hit apply. And every time I choose these options, <clears throat> you will see, for example, Eve moves on. And I have down here the fact that Eve has imported the first 10 rows. And then Eve has found another situation it needs to ask us about. Do I want to create a new tax band or use a selected value? If I wanted to create new, I hit create new. You will see that Eve uses the title of that for the tax band. I put in the appropriate rate, hit save and carry on. Another new stock type has been found and so on. And Eve will continue to prompt you with questions as to how you want to handle information during the import. And as Eve continues to move through, you'll see here, Eve has now processed 60. As I speak, obviously it goes up, processed 100 rows of the import. We're now well beyond that 100 rows. And all of these items are being brought into your Eve database. And as you can imagine, compared to manual entry of these items, this is a very swift way when a supplier gives you the information to be brought into EVE in this what we call EVE format price list. And you continue bringing in your items as so, all the way till you feel you are happy to either end the import or the import finishes. Don't worry about if you need to cancel an import because for whatever reason you have more customers come in and you need to access your EVE database. One of the things that you'll see is that Eve will mark an X against every item that has been brought in so that next time you wanted to return to that import file, you wouldn't be importing those same items in a second time. And when your, your import is finished, you will then be able to see all the information that you've brought into Eve and by the end of that, you can see here, I'm going to create a new stock type. Just to give you an indication of what does happen when you do create a new stock type, as opposed to using in the past that use selected value, that this will actually allow you as well to bring in new stock types. Let's see, Eve will now move forward and we've imported very swiftly in the time of you watching this video, I have imported now up to 300 items. And these, remember, were items specifically set up to prompt those questions. You wouldn't have those on many occasions. And even while I speak there, we're now up to 400 rows. And so that is how you can import very easily your stock item and inventory data into Eve.